I've been doing things wrong this whole time and you probably are too. What's going on guys? So I'm sitting here scripting this on the day one launch for Dragon Quest Monsters of Dark Prince though. This video will probably be out a few days after that, but I've realized about 15 episodes into my Let's Play series that I've been going about making my team more powerful, more quickly, the wrong way. You could think of this as a continuation of our synthesis overview where we simply explain how the system works at a very basic level. And we are going to get a bit into the nitty gritty here and talk about how you can become much more powerful early on. So if you don't understand how synthesis works, again, at a basic level, definitely consider checking out that video. I will leave it linked below. You should also understand what talents are. I have a video on that as well, linked below again. So if you're good, we can continue. Okay, so you'll notice that there are several talents in the game with a one noted next to them. This could be HP booster one, attack booster one, etc. These specific ones are talents that don't contain actual skills, but instead are based on buffing your monsters. The point I'm about to make is also relevant to some of these skill-based talents, particularly any talent that ends in an aficionado, but with the booster talents, I think it's easier to explain. Don't you find it a little bit suspicious that those talents have a number next to them? almost like they're meant to be upgraded. And while I did mention upgrading talents in my video, what I failed to do until now is realize how powerful doing this can be. So in order to upgrade your talents, there are two ways to go about this. You can either max out the talent that you want to upgrade on a certain monster and then fuse it with anybody, or you can have two monsters with the same talent that when combining the allocated skill points in those talents together, that would equal whatever the maximum for that talent would be. This could be a 50-50 split or some sort of combination as long as it equals what the total number is supposed to be. You can see here that I have attack boost 2 on both of my monsters. One has 139, one has 66, that is equal to above 200, which is the max. So when I go to synthesize, I will see attack booster three. Furthermore, you will also be able to retain the original talent as well, meaning that you could have attack booster, let's say one and two, for example, on the same monster alongside your damaging skill set. From there, you do the same process to the attack booster two to get it up to three, and then eventually up to four. Now for the early game, I don't expect anybody to immediately get up to the higher tiers of these talents, but the biggest tip I can give you in terms of getting strong early on is to focus specifically on the talents you want to upgrade first. I made the big mistake of spreading out all my talent points, which really doesn't do much justice for the monsters that have said talents. On top of this, any talents that two monsters share will also bring over more than half of the allocated points brought over to the new talent, so you can kind of get a chain fusion going on there. Another very important thing to note when fusing is that the new monster will receive one fourth of the combined total of the parent stats. What this means is that if you add the attack, for example, of both parent monsters together and then multiply that by 0.25, that'll give you the starting stats for a monster that you're creating. This also means that the higher level your parent monsters are, the stronger the offspring will be just because they'll have bigger numbers. But to quickly recap, because I know this can be confusing, to get more powerful in the early game, Focus on skills that can be upgraded first, anything that finishes in aficionado or the booster skills, max them out immediately, synthesize from there, and keep in mind that your monster babies will have stats equal to both the parent's stats divided into 25%. Also remember that in order to upgrade these talents, you'll need either max in one monster or a combined total that would maximize in two monsters. And you can also fuse monsters once they're able if you want more talent points more quickly. The more talent points you have as well, early on by chain fusing, the more powerful your monsters will be able to be despite their low levels. And that coupled with the fact that if you do grind a couple monsters up a little bit and then fuse them, you'll have a much stronger baby. It just kind of snowballs from there. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me. I hope this guide was useful. I know it could be a little bit confusing, but definitely make sure you are fusing your talents together and focusing on one at a time. And if you do want to stay up to date on all things monster taming and are a Dragon Quest Monsters fan, I have more guides coming. I have more videos coming. I have a lot of stuff going on on the channel. We put out new videos every single day. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, Patreon, channel memberships, PayPal, all that fun stuff if you want to go the extra mile. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Peace.